So the hit show The Last of Us is receiving rave reviews, and here's why we're talking about it. Because for those of you who don't know the premise of the show, so humanity is wiped out by a fungal infection that turns people into flesh-eating monsters. So it's sparking a lot of conversation online about the human brain and fungal viruses and the line between science fiction and reality. Like, could this actually happen to humans? And the answer isn't simple. Joining us live from the Baylor School of Medicine is Associate Professor Dr. David Corey. Good evening to you, Dr. Corey. Thank you for joining us this evening. So why My do you pleasure. first off think that this show has created so much interest in this very specific topic? It's an incredibly interesting premise, uh, and I think what really drives the interest is that there's more than just a, a little bit of potential truth uh, to the premise. So it, it really grabs your attention because some of this may, may some of this may actually be real. So that's a little concerning. I mean, obviously we're not going to become flesh-eating monsters like the show, but talk that's to correct. us about how the human brain disturbances can be caused by bacteria, whatever these disturbances are. Uh, sure. So, so first of all, the uh, the premise of the of the show is that uh, is that we can become zombies with this uh, this fungus that really does exist and actually does convert ants into zombies. But that's not going to happen with us with this particular fungus. But uh, the reality uh, is that fungus of other types can get into our brains. That happens on a regular basis. Usually, when that happens, it's 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 usually uh, means uh, a drastic uh, disease, uh, and it usually happens d during some kind of serious injury or immunodeficiency. But increasing evidence is indicating that there may be uh, a situation which which common fungi uh, in our bodies uh, and in the environment can get into our brains uh, under normal circumstances. So that's just very recent information, and what they're doing in our brains is not known to date. So we have a lot more research that needs to get done to really understand that. Wow. And that's what I was going to ask you about. What type of research specifically is being done and how can this be beneficial for science in the future? Sure. So, uh, so there are a number of investigators who are interested in the causes of chronic degenerative brain disease, things like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. Some early research has indicated that there are more, there is more fungus in the brains of folks that do have these chronic degenerative disorders. Um, and so we and others are trying to confirm some of that and try to understand uh, really what the significance of these fungi, if they are actually there in the brain, what their actual significance is. So we'll have to wait and see how that research comes out. But this is a very active uh, area of research, and I, we think a very important one. Wow, this is fascinating. All right, Dr. Corey, I appreciate it, and I hope we do talk to you soon whenever you find any updates. Thank you.